These are times Kodak Black humiliated rappers. And first up, let's start with the time Kodak took shots at Pooh Shiesty. Because back in 2020, after Shiesty started going viral for spreading and flexing his money on the internet, Kodak felt some way about it. So he made an Instagram post saying how he invented the money spreading trend. Post the money on the gram, I invented that. That's some crazy shit like that. Stop playing the baby. Basically, accusing rappers of copying what he does, since he also used Pooh Shiesty's blurred ad lib in the video. And Shiesty took it personally and posted a throwback picture of him spreading money back in 2012. And told Kodak, you know, he wasn't rapping when he was out here taking action. He also told Kodak they can hit about it since Shiesty isn't with all the talking. And after Kodak saw the post, he went live and simply told Pooh Shiesty to keep it cute before things got too out of hand. Keep cute, don't make it all that, bro. Keep that cute, man. And thankfully, Kodak and Shiesty ended up squashing the beef since it was petty. But what Kodak said about this next rapper was way too disrespectful. His fans were even shocked when he made some really low comments about Nipsey Hussle's wife, Lauren London. Because after Nipsey passed away in 2019, Lauren made a post about how she was heartbroken about Nipsey's death. And then Kodak, not caring about Nipsey or anything, started talking about how he could be the man for London while she mourns the father of her child. One of Kodak's friends even tried to check him, but Kodak felt like what he said wasn't out of pocket and said he was just trying to be a friend but come on man what could be more disrespectful than hitting on a dead rapper's wife just after his death and rappers were pissed about this since kodak basically tried humiliating nipsey and tried checking him about the situation ti was another rapper that said something to kodak about his disrespectful comments kodak black you got a pocket fix that quickly expeditiously but after T.I. responded, Kodak decided to drop a diss track on T.I. titled Expeditiously, where he took shots at T.I. and his wife Tiny. Because on a track, he said, how you tell me what came out my mouth, you don't even know Nipsey. Tiny, that ugly as hell. I don't even want Piggy. And these lines were extremely disrespectful. And Kodak also commented about wanting to have a kid with T.I.'s daughter, Deja. And Tiny was not having it and said in an interview how Kodak was too disrespectful. But she was also glad the beef didn't get physical. And the video only gets crazier from here. But Nipsey and T.I. aren't the only rap OGs he's tried humiliating. Because Kodak also tried humiliating Lil Wayne. Which is crazy since they even have a hit track together. And this started in March 2019 when Kodak had a show at the live nightclub in miami and wheezy was supposed to show up for a performance but instead he went ghost on kodak so kodak got the mic in the club and said some pretty disrespectful things about him and then Regina carter went on instagram to defend her dad saying that the new rappers aren't respecting her dad like they should be after kodak saw it he called her a bald little girl telling her to mind her business even Regina's mom felt some type of way about what kodak said so she cussed him out on live and kodak responded by telling Regina's mom if i ain't had no girlfriend out the out your fine and Lil Wayne ignored the situation. But we still don't know why Kodak decided to call him out like that. Kodak has also had some problems with NBA Youngboy. They got pretty out of hand because the two were cool at one point since they collaborated on a few songs together. But their friendship quickly took a turn after Kodak released a single, Time Never Mattered. And it's rumored Kodak took a shot at Youngboy when he rapped. Kodak never going broke again, you a free agent. Better have that same energy when you see me cause I'm going Super Saiyan. Neither artist said much about this track, but in 2018, while while Kodak was locked up, young boy's artist Quando Rondo burned some sniper gang merch that Kodak had sent him, saying how he didn't want him sending him stuff. Man, we on some NBA shit, man. Tell Ethica don't send me no more, man. I'm telling y'all, I'm about to have some real deal. Bit, huh? like, I'm like and after this, Kodak's sniper gang members responded by burning one of Youngboy's shirts. At the time, Kodak couldn't say much since he was locked up, but once he got out, he said Youngboy was weak for making Kwando burn his stuff instead of doing it himself. And the beef between the two went silent for a while since Kodak and Youngboy went in and out of jail. But in 2020, things sparked right back up because after Kodak heard about Youngboy and Yaya Mayweather's situation, he made an Instagram post saying how Youngboy is a snitch and is fully cooperating with authorities. Then this pissed Youngboy boy off since he crashed out on live asking why kodak was speaking on him while locked up These watch me from a jail cell man These watch me from a jail cell and be on my so bad 
and young boy eventually dropped the beef and said he was moving on from this beef so everything was cool for a while until kodak decided to spark the beef back up because he tweeted bruh i like young boy music it's just this fans homie or whoever the behind all this yb better he also went live saying he was tired of the yb better saying y'all get off my a week later, Youngboy hopped on IG to talk about his new album. And in the post, he wrote, P.S. You don't like my fans, I don't like you. And after this, Kodak made a tweet telling Youngboy how he stands firsthand to that smoke. And Youngboy isn't the only rap friend Kodak fell out with. Because back in June 2021, Kodak fell out with his best friend, Jackboy. Out of nowhere, he made a tweet saying, just made an M off Lil Jack. Thanks Lil Bruh. And Jackboy made a post explaining how Kodak would rather the label go downhill than let Jackboy and the other members of Sniper Gang help him out. I don't want no driving me eight, nine hours. You tired, you trying to be the only person driving like God damn, like you'll rather crash than somebody else drive, ain't it? So the label doesn't fall off. Jack Boy also made a post saying, Nobody trying to take your job, Playboy. If anything, trying to help you save your job. Stop being in slick competition. And Jack Boy felt this way since Kodak wasn't trying to help out any of the members on the label since Jack Boy held things down while Kodak was in and out of jail. Jack Boy also went on IG Live and said he wouldn't diss Kodak. He was just trying to talk some sense into him. But Kodak obviously didn't feel the same way and went live saying wild things about his own homie. ain't never told me thank you. ain't never like, oh yeah, bro, thank you for putting me in this position. All of what say free yet? Oh yeah, I'm SG. You gotta do that before people can reach you. And Kodak took it even further and posted a video of himself throwing $100,000 in the ocean and flushing money down the toilet just to prove how rich he was to Jackboy. And according to the blogs that researched the beef, the issue started after Jackboy had a meeting with Empire Records, the label behind Sniper Gang, and revealed to the artists that Kodak charged Jackboy $30,000 every time he did a verse on one of Jackboy's songs. They also revealed that Jackboy was supposed to get a $500,000 advance, but Kodak kept it for himself. And it looks Looks like Jack Boy is officially off the label now since he started his own label called 1804 Records with Empire. Another close friend Kodak had had altercations with is Wiz the Wizard because Kodak and Wiz were rumored to be beefing over the $30,000 Wiz had with Kodak's label because Wiz explained how he wanted out of the contract. I just wanna buy the contract. You avoid that thing up that contract. You talking about that thing that contract, but we not beefing. The beef went on for a long time, and in another Instagram video, Wiz talked about how he and Kodak have been friends for over 10 years, but their friendship went south because of other guys interfering with their relationship and turning them against each other. He also mentioned how he hated the beef and wished they could have fixed things, but unfortunately, he died before that could happen. And not long after Wiz's death, Kodak went on Instagram saying how none of his friends are dead, and he doesn't say rest in peace anything. But he eventually spoke about the situation in the song named I Wish and Said. And I hate I fell out with Wiz. You did what you did, so I did what I did. Kodak has also had some pretty serious beef with Julio Fulio. Because after Kodak fell out with Wiz and Jack Boy, he went on a live with some guys from Florida and told them to let Fulio, Baby Soldier, and Young and Ace know that Duval is his section. Fulio! And it seemed like Kodak was joking around when he said this, but when Fulio saw the video, he felt disrespected. It's also rumored that Kodak linked up with Young and Ace, Fulio's sworn enemy. So after this, Fulio would make his beef with Kodak known to the world by pulling up to the projects that Kodak grew up in and filming a video by the entrance. Oh, oh, and I got my drop, oh, look at my rock. Oh. Kodak quickly got on social media to address the video explaining how what Fulio did was police. Fulio responded by going live and saying Kodak tried to call him and settle the situation, but then started talking tough for the internet. On FaceTime with me on some J. Cole, YK Osiris. We get on his Instagram, it be 21 Savage and Young Nudie, man. You gotta stop that, bro, cause you called me a spaniel or stuff, bro. I ain't got no beef with nobody. Fulio even took it a step further and exposed the DM from Kodak that explains that Ace put $200,000 on Fulio's head. Since Fulio posted a screenshot from Kodak and no one knows if this is real or not, and Kodak went on Instagram saying Fulio must not care about his life since he's trying to start problems with someone out of his league. Kodak also pulled up in Fulio's hood on live and started asking the people where he was at. So Kodak wasn't really worried about Fulio, and after this, Fulio made 
made a post saying he can name over 30 dead ops that he beefed with in the past, basically trying to warn Kodak not to take it there. And things between the two eventually went silent since Kodak felt like Fulio was trying to get him locked up. And earlier in 2022, Kodak also had some similar problems with New York rapper Shy E.K. because Dave East had a verse from Kodak but decided not to use it because of the comments Kodak made about Lauren London after Nipsey's death and decided to let Shy E.K. have the verse. And Shy E.K. was letting everyone know he had a feature with Kodak, which upset 22G's, an artist that Kodak reportedly signed since 22G's was upset that Shy E.K., one of his ops, got a Kodak feature before him. And after Kodak found out about it, he went on Instagram and explained how he never did a song with Shy E.K. And he didn't know him, and Dave East started all of this since he gave the verse to Shy E.K., since he was mad about the Lauren London comments. But not long after this post, Shy E.K. made a video going off on Kodak, saying how he couldn't come back to New York or something going to happen to him. Suck my Kodak. Suck my You took him on. You shot. Where do my dad on my body? Can't come to New York. And not long after Shy K made the video, Kodak and his sniper gang members pulled up to New York to show Shy K that they weren't banned from anywhere. We banned from this though. Yeah. I'm trying to see if we really banned from this shit, though. We air what they say we can't go. You know what we at. And, why? and just a few months ago, Kodak also had some problems with 21 Savage. Because not long after 21 Savage dropped his album with Drake, he made a post saying he could beat anyone on his XXL cover in a rap battle. Then not long after this, Kasanat brought the topic up on his stream with 21 Savage and asked him about it. And 21 wasn't too serious about the situation. He just wanted a friendly rap battle since he felt like he was the better rapper. And after Kodak saw the video, he made a post explaining how 21 Savage was feeling himself just because he dropped a project with Drake and he made another video saying how 21 doesn't really want smoke smoking huh? I'm out of uh, Drake you know I mean? I did a Drake I'm scared we salute Drake we love Drake okay whatever fan full of smoking huh and thankfully, things between the two didn't get too serious since 21 Savage stopped responding to Kodak. And if you enjoyed this, click this to see Tom's Lil Dirk humiliated rappers. 